my name is Jess Edberg and welcome to Outside Explorer. Today we're at the International Wolf Center of Ely, Minnesota and we are going to get educated on some wolves. Jess, tell us about some of the things we're going to do today. Well, we're going to have you explore our facility. We have several museum exhibits, children's exhibit. We have live wolves for you to observe and learn from. Then we're going to take you out in the field and do some radio telemetry and track wild wolves. How exciting! Let's get going. So, around the world, wolves have three main requirements for survival. They need food and water, they need habitat, and they need tolerance from people. And if they can have those three things, they can live in a lot of different environments. And if they can survive there, they have physical and social adaptations that help them survive. And so their fur is one huge physical adaptation that wolves have that allows them to live in an outside environment 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all year round. So once they leave a den site as a pup, they're outside in the elements. And so those elements, wind, rain, snow, sun, branches, if they live in a forested or shrubby area, and this fur is going to give them the protection from those things. And so they have an external layer of fur, which is called the guard hair layer, and that's these longer hairs that are kind of coarse. They give some color, so they might be multicolored or single colored. And this is kind of like the wolf's built-in raincoat. Underneath that fur, their skull is a really neat adaptation for survival. Being a large carnivore, um, a predatory animal that has to hunt and kill other animals for survival, they rely on these canine teeth. So they have four canine teeth. If you've ever had a dog or a cat, you've seen the canine teeth before. Wolves are specially adapted for grabbing and hanging onto something. And so they have a very deep root system oh, yeah. for those canine teeth. So in an adult animal, they might be two and a quarter inches long, with most of that tooth being in the bone. We are going down Highway 1, which ultimately goes down to Lake Superior. And it's, it's a big entry point for the boundary waters, and there's a lot of wolf packs in the area. So there are a couple that have been telemetry here in the past month, so we're gonna try and find them. We are with Kate Sinner. She's part of the staff at the International Wolf Center, and she's driven us out about a half an hour, and we are going to learn about telemetry. Yes. Kate, what is telemetry? So radio telemetry is when you fit an animal with a radio collar, and this is a perfect example. This is an actual radio collar that is very similar to what's fitted around the wolves in this area. And this collar emits a signal. It each has a specific signal. It will work with the towers in this area, and we will use our receiver and an antenna to pick up the signal, and so we can locate the wolves around this area. So when a group would come out with you, they'll get a piece of paper like this, and it has the wolf number, the sex, the frequency, and what pack they're in, so you can go, and it's, you're actually tracking a wolf. Right. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, well, yeah. let's go track our first wolf. Kate, that's a strong signal. So strong. how close is this wolf? Well, we know we're within a mile. Okay. And because it is such a clear beep, and my gain is down pretty far, it's down at four out of six, that's pretty good. We're probably within a quarter to a half a mile. We left the International Wolf Center with Kate, who brought us out here to use some telemetry to find some wolves. We didn't have much luck at the first spot, but at the second spot, we've had a great deal of luck, and it turns out there is a female wolf within a mile from us. So that's really exciting. So I think now that we've done that, we'll pack up and head back to the center and see what else we can learn. What an incredibly informative day we've had here at the International Wolf Center. Thank you, Jess. And if people want to get in touch with you to learn more about wolves, how can they do so? Well, they can come here to our interpretive facility in Ely, Minnesota. We're open year-round. Or they can check our website, which is www.wolf.org, where we have all of our hours, fees, and other programming information. We also have live webcams of our captive wolves here at the facility that you can watch if you're not able to make it up here. Stay tuned for more Outside Explorer.